Just well, like, I mean, after this conversation, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing for the last 30 to 45 yeah. days, which is work as much as I humanly possibly can. How many hours a day do you think that? I'm is? putting in like a good 40 hour work week now. Okay. Well, I think that oh. when we can't survive, I think that needs to be 60 to 80. Oh. <laughs> 40 hours a week when he's like on the verge of destruction? I'm sorry, maybe my work approach might be toxic or unhealthy, but like, what else is he doing with his time? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. but that's that's where I am. And like, at, at, at the end of the day, again, no excuses. You know, people think I don't want to get a real job. I'm a disabled felon, man. I struggle with the conversation. If we decide it's impossible, then it's, it's impossible regardless. Well, I understand that, but um, when, if, I, if you told me that I need to start flapping my wings and fly out of here, <laughs> right? We would agree that that's not a possibility. She's probably right that you can't get most desirable jobs. Not desirable jobs, anything. Any, dude, I was... How do you help someone who has an almost chronic way of making excuses slash coping? You mentioned he was self-aware, but you said for pity to feel good. How do you actually help them? I, in my opinion, I don't know if there's like a clinically approved or statistically approved way to do it, but, and I'm working off very limited uh, anecdote here. The only way that I've ever seen this work, and it's really hard, is you have to stop enabling them and everybody around them has to stop enabling them. Because what happens is, is people, because you feel bad for them. You know, you got a friend and they do, you know, they're into drugs, they won't get a job, they whatever. These people are really good at finding others in their life to kind of get resources from or get help from. And you feel, you legit, you feel bad. But at some point, the, the truly compassionate thing to do, and this is the hardest is like for parents having to kick out a child who's like 23, 24, not going to school, not working. You gotta say, listen, you gotta start paying rent if you can't, I'm kicking you out and you kick them out and it sucks and it hurts, but like you, they have to like fail pretty hard um, for a little bit. And then at some point, hopefully they make the decision to realize that they have to change their shit around. But as long as the person is able to go to other people and kind of sustain themselves, why would they change their behavior, right? You One, one thing, <clears throat> this is annoying to do. But one thing you have to do when you're trying to evaluate what people are doing or like their motivations for why they act the way they do is you have to see like what are the rewards and what are the uh, punishments or, or what are the consequences for continuing a certain type of action, right? And when you look at somebody like Boogie, right now Boogie is living more or less his dream life. He works as much as he wants to. He's got a nice house. He's got friends. He's got a girlfriend. He's got escort. He's got everything he wants, right? If he continues to live the way that he lives, what is he gonna have? Everything, the same shit, because people keep enabling it. People do the dono drives, he gets the documentary with the influx of subs and AdSense, he gets somebody to help him with Bill. What, he's always got enough to keep him, you know, like going on. Why would he change his behavior, right? There, there's, from Boogie's point of view, from his perspective emotionally, there's absolutely no reason to change his behavior. Why the fuck would he? It would, be, it would be stupid of him to change his behavior, as long as he's got people around him that keep enabling him, you know? And it sucks, but like, unfortunately, you have to, they, they have to crash and burn and then realize like, okay, well, now I see if I continue this behavior, it's not good for me. If I keep going down this path, I am not getting the things that I want. But right now, Boogie is getting every single thing he wants in life, aside from a little bit of like, I guess, emotional friction with people when he feels a little bit bad for borrowing or whatever, or, or from getting money or from getting sub, you know, bonuses or whatever. Yeah. How desirable is it to cold call teachers? about a union and get screamed at by them because that's the job I applied for yeah. and got told they wouldn't give it to me. How desirable was that job? Not thrilling. No. And th that's, that was the most desirable job I applied for. Okay. And they wouldn't offer me that one. And I had a friend in management at that company. So you're not willing to try? Uh, this, am I, trying to, am, I trying, am I willing to try doing something that is clearly not going to happen? No. Uh, now, if I get the felony sealed, which is going to cause... The thing is, people like Boogie still need an emotional support system, uh, but that support system cannot enable. Yeah, but that's that's the hard part. That is true. Like you shouldn't, you don't have to sh on people. Uh, and I and I think some people confuse this. Like when you say tough love, tough love doesn't mean that you talk to a like a child and you're like, I'm sorry, but you're a lazy fucking piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here and get get a fucking job, you fucking loser. Right? Like that's tough love. No, you know, you can still be loving. Like, listen, I love you. I care about you. I'm not gonna fund your lifestyle anymore. You have to get a job. You need to realize that there's stuff in life that you have to do and I love you and I'll be here for you if you need. Yeah, if you wanna chat, if you want help, help is a big one too. I can help you, not help you like I'll give you $500 to pay rent, but I'll help you like I can help you find a job or I can help you uh, you know, talk to somebody to figure out some arrangement or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, don't enable. The helping can't be enabling. The helping has to be like helping them help themselves basically, yeah. There, uh, I can't speak for Arkansas, I can't speak for the city. There's local services, there's uh, 
a wide variety of services who focus on the rehabilitation aspect of people's lives. Now you did not go to prison, but you do have a felony. Sure. That What's a felony? You have a felony. <laughs> helps to connect felons with workplace opportunities. There are services out there. Have you worked with any of them yet? It's, ne it's never come across my table. I, again, my, well, our, no, our no, it's not about is, coming across your table. Well, what about you going across their well, table? Well, my plan is to seal the felony and, and try to move forward from there. And that happens in, in three months, provided I can afford it. Yeah. So I I, I don't know. That's so you're I've never heard of that before. So I, I don't know if it even exists in my area, but it might. What would they offer? I don't think they'll offer any financial. A lot of things I'm seeing are Texas resources. Again, I can only, I can't speak for that, yeah. but right. Well, as far as I know, I might not need that in three months. I but if it oh. turns out in three months that I yeah, they always this is always a thing too with people with this mindset. They're always like a couple months from like something big. They've always got like I just got this thing, or there's a thing that I'm working on now, and I think in a couple months it's always like a couple months or some big things. Yeah. Would you on Caleb Hammer's show for I don't what we talk about? You spend a lot on takeout food and but you like what. Is there ever fixing a victim mentality like this? Like I said, I think you just have to look at what's reinforcing the behavior, right? And right now, um, yeah, it's really, really hard to look at people like this and try to figure out what's going on if you're analyzing from just like an ordinary mindset. Right now, technically, Boogie is doing everything correct. He really is. He's doing exactly what he needs to do to get exactly what he wants. The only thing that is going to change his behavior is when he no longer get what's, what he wants. That's the only thing that will change it. And, and right now he's acting in accordance with his environment, you know? Um, I think one thing that would help, not pushing someone to get work, and I know there's probably background in a lot of different story. Uh, if your significant other is able to help split the cost of the place they're living, that sure. will help with your thing. I do want to talk about, before we wrap it up, just, you know, okay, say you make it 10 years, like you said. I also, I don't know how Caleb feels about this, but I feel really strongly about this. If you're trying to help somebody shore up their finances, I like talking about expenses way more than income. Because uh, income is fluid, dynamic, it can change, there's a lot, but expenses are oftentimes things you can inc like hardcore control for. I feel like on this video, I feel like there's been an overfixation on what can you do to earn more money? Can we work another 20 hours a week? How can the YouTube channel like, okay, well, what about the expenses we have that we know we can control, right? You can rent a, an apartment and, and have a cheaper monthly house payment. You can get a cheaper car and reduce your insurance or your monthly car payments. You can, like, these are expenses that are monthly payments that no matter how much you earn, no matter how much you spend, these are always gonna be the same. Like, why not work on cutting the expenses down? I feel like that's a more important thing to do, but. I hope it's much longer. You know, I really do. Let's just, let's. He did cover that. He did a little bit, but like, I'm curious. What, maybe I just missed because I'm paying attention. I feel like Bookie should sell his house. I don't think he needs to live in that house. I, I, that's like number one, like that it seems like a big thing. Cause what does he live at? Isn't he like in a nowhere state? He's paying 2,300 a month on a mortgage. Can't he just get like a $1,200 a month apartment or something? Like, oh, did he tell, maybe he did tell him to move then and I missed it, I don't know. Hey, he lives in Arkansas. Is that even a real place? Here is the Boogie members only clip for all of you. I just, I, I got 33% through the Caleb Hammer episode, Boogie. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't look like you made those uh, taco shells yourself. Homemade. Why is it so you quiet? Go to a store and purchase them with. Oh, no, we, <laughs> yeah, you got you got to grow the corn yourself. It's so funny because I did this. Caleb, I think he did a good enough job of promoting the podcast with Caleb. Um, but number one, that guy was such a dumbass. Uh -huh. He thought that I actually bought a Tesla. Anybody with a brain knows it and buy a fucking Tesla. Um, if you, in case you didn't know that, I never bought the fucking thing. And then secondly. He's like trying to find something to nail me on. He's like going through my bank account. And the only thing he can find to nail me on is like eating out. Bitch, look at me. Do I look like somebody who's saving money on food? I'm feeding three people over here. I'm feeding me and my girlfriend and occasionally my roommate. And I'm doing it on a budget. If I'm doing it on six to $800 a month, which is what I am, I fucking, I'm winning, Caleb. Right, that guy was unreasonable. That guy was unreasonable. Wait, the, the only thing I've seen you say that was like, unreasonable is like you fed three people with twelve dollars at chick-fil-a i'm like i can't feed myself for twelve dollars at chick-fil-a what why would you be such an asshole what the f oh no caleb just got f***ing destinied will you bring some guy on and you try to be like you try to be like chill and friendly even though he maybe deserves a little and then you and then he ends up going on some other show later and he fucking roasts the f out of you bro holy shit he was calling caleb a dumb saying the guy doesn't know anything oh my god yikes fam okay